And we're back in the non eaten shop, obviously. Oh, it's about half nine in the evening. Uh, there's been a lot of changes since the last video. The last video is just an empty room, nothing in here. There's been a lot of changes. Uh, I'd say we were about 80% ready. Yeah, 80% ready. Um, and the most, un there was some unexpected extra costs. Which blew my budget. Gone. So I'm, I've got to be extra careful because I've got no money left. <laughs> it's all gone. I've got nothing left. Um, as Ian Bale said. That's how I feel at the moment, Ian Beale. I'm all Ian Beale'd out. Anyway, what happened? <sighs> the commercial estate agents, of course, who else? Um, in the contract, it said I, ha I am liable to pay the um, Buildings insurance. Um, I did see that, but I thought, ah, uh, won't be that much. I'm just, I'm either too naive or just too stupid. Um, buildings insurance they wanted. So they sent me an invoice for buildings insurance. Oh, and also they sent me an invoice for VAT. They forgot to add for the rent from the date I signed the lease up to my next rent payment. I forgot the VAT. So I'll add it on for you as well, yeah. Look, look I made a money or something. I thought, could have fought, should have fought it, you know. They sent me a final invoice of this is what you owe, pay it, this is done. They forgot to add the VAT, so I just thought, just pay it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be getting off on the wrong foot um, straight away with the flipping landlord. Um, yeah, I've just noticed something. Anyway. Um, so. Yeah, that was, oh yeah, how much did it cost? Oh, you've got to pay another £750. If I'd have known the cost at the start of everything involved, I might not have done this. Seriously. Yeah, you know, with the the rent, the solicitor's fees, um, the deposit, the current buildings insurance, and it's all plus that. <sighs> I might not have done it. So half of me is thinking, it's probably better I didn't know because I wouldn't be here now if I just would have just thrown myself in it, into it, blind. So you probably, for those who have already jumped ahead into this video, for those of you who have been patient and waited for me to turn the camera around, I applaud you, but I know a lot of people just like, I want to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks shit. Yeah. I'll do a quick spin around. Here we go. This is Music is the Answer, None Eaten. Are you ready? Whoa. Here we are. It's looking... Much different to Music is the Answer, Hall Green and Digbuff. Not so much so by using this, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's perfect and very cheap for holding records to the wall. So if there's any other record store owners out there looking for a solution to their wall, there it is. I think it's like three quid for like a thousand meters. 
don't worry. I mean, this is just a. This won't be the final wall because we're not going to have a lot of backcountry blues up there or anything like that. But um, there's a we can fit. I think it's not nearly sixty records on the wall. So we've got to have some good stuff, and we've been sort of preparing that as a as and when. Probably need to bring that down into a more central part, but yeah. Uh, and people, so this is the idea of the Kallax unit. So at the moment in the shop, all underneath is the like two two quid bow bar, bar, bar bargain bins. Um, now all of the flippable stuff will be on top. Um, for are you? In my head, this is where the dance is going to be stored. Dance isn't the biggest seller, but it needs to go somewhere. And what I'll do, I'll have a little stool that people can sit on. So it's pretty comfortable. People can pull it out, you know, you can do what they want. But in the shop, in the current shop at the moment, there's literally just one storage section on the bottom. And people do flick through, but now we've got two storage sections so it makes it more for the small space that we've got could fit hundreds if not thousands more records just by doing that um on top it's not going to be these boxes these are just here to store stuff um we're going to build uh like a lip up to about that high basically just screwed to the front um and with a divider in the middle sectioned off all the way down uh, so that will be the plan. So it would just be, it should look quite good. Um, and luckily, exactly three Kallax units fit into this space here. Um, so there's literally hardly any room either side. So that is that section. The Islands are again just two by four Kallax units. Um, this is cut. This is the good thing. This has cost me less than I thought. All these units and actually just fitting out the shop has cost less than I thought. Um, I know there's a bit of a. I've only literally just brought these up tonight. I know there's a bit of a gap there, but we'll we'll sort that out. Um, but this is the idea. This might not be. This might not. Be be how the final thing looks it'll take a few months i think before we get actually get to understand exactly what we want to do um got loads of records i'm not going to put them all in there yet because i don't know if this is going to be exactly how it's going to look but um this is all dance music i'm going to do dance music i'm not going to price it up it's three for a tenner that's it three for a tenner and there's some good stuff in there bargains to be had if you're a reseller fine if you're a dance music collector, fine. It's all three for a tenner. Um, but that will go... I don't know. It's going to be hard sort of getting that into genre. I might not do it to start with. It's just going to be like, you know, bargain bins. Have a look what you want. Three for a tenner. Uh, again, but we've got storage, storage. All down there. With, um, I think, again, we're going to build um, you like a wooden lip up there. So you can flick through right on top of there and screw it together sort of thing. And the main event. We've got a desk. <laughs> a desk. Like this was this desk cost nothing. All of these all these pieces of wood were just um offcuts from the storage shelves, uh, the storage um the tabletops in the current shop. Um, all that's all that on top is laminate. These these panels on the front, that was from racking that I never used. This is the wooden part of the racking. So on there, uh, I'm gonna I've booked her in, but it's the artist who's already done work for the shop, um, and it's gonna be like a big music is the answer, none eaten, 
right on there in white so yeah this costs nothing so this is this is what was i was always thinking oh, i don't, don't, don't know if i want a desk but this is this is amazing because behind there then we've got a deck set up we've got all the little bits and bobs electronics we've got the that's from the current shop i've had to buy a new one we've got a uh, mobile wi-fi for the internet that's done we've got a deck this, this again this was in the shop already it was on ebay um it needed a needle we sorted that out and um yeah this is the deck for the shop not customer facing this is not customer facing we're gonna have a customer facing one probably over here because if you're into dance music you want to listen to the tunes but the problem in the current shop Paul green the needle gets battered so we're gonna have a separate ne separate deck here i think or one of them briefcase we'll sort it out but it's gonna be here i think another deck that if a uh, a drum and bass head or a garage head or a house head wants to listen to stuff they can do and this again five by five calax unit for storage um there is a bit of a gap behind it so i'm gonna sort that out um so it might sit on top of that with a, with some supports on the bottom but this was free I had to drive to Derby, Alfreton for it. Um, but these are usually 80 to 100 pounds. I've, I've, I've had a few, I've had a few of them in the time, in my time. Um, but yeah, about, you pay about 80 to 100 and that was free. So another saving. And yeah, I had to, I've had to definitely make some savings because of these unexpected costs. Um, we've got some grating. These are at red brick, um, but I had one left over. So whether that goes on the wall there, we're gonna have some merch, socks, t-shirts, etc., etc. I've got the traditional disco lighting for the ceilings. Yeah, for the ceilings. Again, this like matches what's at uh, Hall Green currently. Um, but yeah, from a empty shell to an 80% 75% record store uh, of it all the skeletons back this is his new home this was this has been in various different places over the years and uh, he's now found a new home we're going to get another um, 2 by 4 Kallax unit in there at some point when I find one um, So this is it. Honestly, it's it's a lot of hard work to be honest. It's just records are heavy, ridiculously heavy. I've got to film a car four times at least with different various wood pieces of wood, Calax units, records. Um, I think all the records are here now. No, there's a few bits of the shop actually. No, it's not everything, but the, the vast bulk majority is here. Um, it's all going to be sleeved. While we're talking about sleeves, um, these are back in stock. The spin care outer sleeves. They won't be eBayed. I'm not allowed anymore because um, I've got an account with them. But. Uh, yeah, and they're not the same price. So if you want one, if you're interested in these these packs, I'm doing by boxes as well, but they're, nowhere, they're not the same price. But uh, let me know. I think uh, £17.50. Yeah, but they are good. And I need to buy them for the shop. Just leave all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, what do you think? Let me know. Nuneaton's newest record store. What's it going to be called? Another question, music is the answer. That's it's the same now. Um, I was in the I was in the paper. The Coventry Telegraph. Yeah. I'll put a link to the description below if you're not want to read it. 
Um, opening day, we look, we, the, we've said the 20th of May, but I want to be open sooner than that, really. 20th of May is a Saturday. If, 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 if it's ready by Thursday, Friday, then, you know, I'll just open. Um, we've got a few things planned or ideas planned about how we're going to promote it in the town centre. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on the Facebook page, link in the description. <coughs> link in the description. And um, obviously I'll do a video when it opens. But thanks for your support. It's been a... A long journey, a tough journey. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Just about. It's like that. It's just like that. Very dim, but it's there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And then, probably the hard work starts then. Selling records. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. But it should be, Music is Down to Nuneaton is open for business. Fingers crossed, it won't be long. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.